afternoon from Oka Anambra State of Nigeria and welcome back again to my channel if you are coming for the first time you're welcome my name is Linda and I'm a mommy vlogger based here in Oka it's a pleasure to meet you thank you all so much my new subscribers like we welcome you all and to my OGs thanks again for tuning in today and uh, today it's gonna just be a very quick video but very interesting okay and this video please I want to officially plead with all of you to share this video like we need to share this video we need to get this video around the whole world because I know that it's gonna have help a lot of marital people a lot of single ladies a lot of relationships yes so I want to appeal to you guys to please share this video. Share in your email, your WhatsApp, your Instagram, your Facebook, because a lot of men and women need to watch this video. So guys, with the title of this video, you should already know, or maybe you might not know. I just want us to quickly do a relationship mathematics, or rather marital mathematics. What um, inspired me to make this video was a lot of husbandry issues like women complaining about their marriage because of complaints that women do have in, in their marriage and as well as men do also complain about their marriage. I was just like, why not bring up this idea because this was something I did and it helped me. Like, up until today after I did this mathematics of my marriage my marriage became better and I was like why not share it with all of us if you're in a relationship if you're in marriage just cool down like watch this video watch this video and do what I'm about to tell you and I tell you after this video you will learn to look away you will learn to complain less you will learn to know that it is not usually easy in marriage yeah so this is why i want to share this thing with you guys and i hope i impact one or two persons okay so guys without wasting much of your time please let's dive into the video I'm going to be talking to men and as well talking to women in this particular video in some marriages you will see some men they will be complaining my wife is this my wife is that my wife is not good in cooking my wife is not very beautiful my wife complains a lot my wife nags a lot my wife is this my wife is that some women also will be like mm, my husband he doesn't satisfy me in the, uh, in the other room my husband doesn't give me money my husband is not learned he's not wise he's not educative my husband is um he complains a lot my husband beats me my husband this my husband that i want to put a stop to all those notions in marriage so this is what i did with my own marriage and I want to share with you guys just as I have said before. I want you to get your book and pen. Let's do this mathematics, okay? Let me just quickly show you guys this simple mathematics and I will come back to analyze with you totally on this mathematics, okay? Yeah. I will want you to just state your like your husband plus your previous relationships. Relationships are not based on sexual relationships or anything, but at least men that you've had something to do with before, I want to compare them with your current relationship, okay? So this is what we will do. Like me, I have a husband now. I will write hobby. If you don't have a husband now, you can write someone else. Then I will write uh, boyfriend, boyfriend one boyfriend two and then boyfriend three okay to state those attitudes that we love and we do not love okay so number one here let's say education maybe he drinks 
then he smokes then he cheats okay cheating very necessary he cheats then uh, he's um, homely homely is a man who cares for his family no matter what okay he cares for his family then let's just state everything all the criterias of a good man and all the necessities of a bad man just state it here let's end here so that this video will not be too long so what we'll be doing is good or bad so anyone that is good on this aspect you take the person good anyone that is bad you take bad but before we start i want us to add for the marital people like us add a man that choose you for a lifetime like we the women a man who gave you his name because giving you his name is not easy add him because we'll take him for him a man who you bought a child together with like make a family a man you made a family with and finally a man who chose you for for lifetime choose for lifetime okay mm -hmm. forget my writing guys this is not my real writing so education background my husband is educated of course good let me say my first boyfriend the other one educated or maybe fiance the other one not educated and this one educated okay then wealth of course husband is lucky then the other one of course no this doesn't have like i have the, their names on my head okay then this one has and this one has then loving and caring of course my husband is this one mm, yeah he is this one he's not and this one he is okay then smart of course hobby is smart this one he is he is this one is not that so smart okay assault of course hobby does not do that this one he doesn't this one <laughs> this one is a very bad one <laughs> some of you might relate to who this person is and then this one he's not drunk of course hobby don't this one he don't this one <laughs> this one does this one drunk drunk let me just okay take him good this one <laughs> he don't okay then smokes hobby don't this one don't this one does and this one does then cheating of course hobby don't this one don't this one chairman oh yeah but when you the cheetah then this one uh, small he cheats small but let me just give him good homely of course my husband is then this one this one <laughs> he is this he also is and this he is his name of course my husband gave me my name this one he did not give me none of them gave me name they are just giving me oil making family of course I made family with my husband none of them I did not choose lifetime of course my husband none of them i did not this is a simple mathematics that will go for a man and a woman like we the women you do this mass and men also do this mass with your wife and your previous relationships so husband got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve of course twelve one two three four five six seven seven one two three four four hey organi joker one two three four five six six total hobby is winning so let's go and conclude so let's quickly analyze it okay just like i said before if you're a man watching this please write your wife if you're married write your wife and write all those your side chicks previously and currently eh? uh -huh. Sit down to write all those things that you want in a woman. Write them down. And also write those bad things that you think that your wife does. Write it down. And then end the woman that gave her life for you. Sacrificed her womb 
to bore you children. Make sure you write it there. Okay. Decided to leave her father's home to join you. Yes, it's a plus. Write it down. Write lifetime. The person that you made a family with. Make sure you like write it at the end of it. Then start to calculate them. Hmm? The ones that are good, tick good. The ones that are not good in it, tick bad. Like you also, my husband passed every of it. Like those ones that I listed, he passed them all. Okay? There are certain things that he's not perfect with. But I didn't put them here. Just for the purpose of this video, I put some. Yeah, there are things that he's very bad at. Yeah, not he's not perfect. If it is if he's perfect, uh, why would I be complaining? I complain, of course, as usual. My my marriage is not perfect. But I didn't write it down there. But those ones that I listed, he is more than perfect to be compared with those past people that I did something with. So if you take your time to do this mathematics, if you're a girl, you're in a relationship and you're being confused about a man who you would choose, do this little mathematics between all the men that are coming for you, okay? Do this simple mathematics and you will choose the best man that will make the best husband, okay? Don't always be filled with, I'm not in love with him. If you ask me, I will advise you love, you marry a man that you don't love so much. Like, I don't know how to say it. My dad told me that it is very much better for a woman's love to be lesser than the husband's love. Yeah, it's very good for a woman's love to be lesser than the husband's love. Yeah, in this way, you can be able to condone everything that comes with marriage. But if your love is bigger than the love of your husband, you will run mad. So in as much as I love my husband so much, how you would do this is build your heart, build your mind like be strong you understand yeah once you grow that strong mind it will like tune down your love for your spouse or anybody your love for your partner it will tone it down a little thereby giving you the privilege to condone every of the bad flaws that comes with marriage but when you allow yourself to open like you understand it will be very difficult i'm not saying that you shouldn't love your man but if we are to share it let the man's love be 60 percent and you as a woman be 40 percent or rather 50 50 but make sure you have a heart okay don't be 50 50 with no heart there are if you know all those things that you want in a man and those things you don't want in a man relax even if your number is from 1 to 20 list all of them down then start to be calculating you understand take good and bad take good. at the end of it calculate in full and you will find the person like if you're in marriage already you will know that that your wife is the woman for you if you're in marriage already you will know that that man is just that man for you okay in as much as he will be bad in this he will also be good in this and if we are all human beings nobody is perfect okay my father told me that a man must be bad with one thing is it that he's a drunk not drunk maybe he drinks to be happier or he smokes to be happier or he cheats out of these three a man must be one out of these three if you marry a man who drinks as long as he does not abuse you after drinking my sister live with it if you marry a man that smokes as long as he don't abuse you after smoking my sister live with it if you marry a man that cheats <laughs> cheating <laughs> I'm going to go level by level because there are the ones that <laughs> I cannot condone, okay? In as much as you want to cheat, use your sense. So if you marry a man that cheats and he's teaching, cheating doesn't take his eyes away from his family, he doesn't bring sicknesses, he's very careful, my sister, learn to live with it, okay? These are things that you must find, it's common in men, okay? If, if but if you're marrying a man that cheats drinks <coughs> smokes in the same time ah and then also papa what about an addition me i cannot condone those ah uh -uh, this three no 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 i cannot carry it i can carry one or two i might manage it and know that it is my cross because we all have a cross to carry in marriage okay so just 
I'm talking to us the women. Learn to make your marriage work. Learn to understand the pattern and the lifestyle of men okay they are made in a different way in as much as we are made in a different way we are made to endure a lot women can endure more than men do you understand and god is not foolish enough to do it this way he did it this way because he know that he gave the men the higher power than he gave the women and then he gave us the endurance spirit to be able to endure and make it work okay i just want to advise all of us the women out there try to make your marriage work try to look away in certain things that like just like these common things that i say it's common in men if your man falls in one deal with it still pray about it there is nothing prayer and god cannot do and also seek to advise him from time to time i don't stop that I usually advise my husband whenever we are so happy together and there's this particular thing he's doing and I don't want him to continue doing it. I will knowledge him, give him reasons to know that he should stop it. And I thank God each time I advise him, he will stop. But as a human being, sometimes he will also come back to it. Then you will remind him also again. If you're in a relationship that your husband is not a calling type, he's not a caring type, advise him be that person to start the careness yes care do the caring a memory of winning like some people they will be like uh, he doesn't call me two weeks three weeks he doesn't call me i get this all the time and i used to tell him if he doesn't call you he's your husband call him if he were to be your boyfriend but if it is your husband you've made that vow to live with him forever the same way you will live with his bad and also his good call him do the call as a human being sometimes you will get tired of doing that call once you get tired the rest but when you start missing him again, start all over again. Call him. And in as much as you're also doing these things, knowledge him. Advise him. Talk to him. And I'm certain he's gonna change. Okay? I just want to personally keep drop this here for women like me because I'm in the best position to advise you as a woman like me. And if, if he's not good in the other room, teach him. Teach him. I, I still teach my husband certain things. In as much as he also cheats teach me there are places that he will touch me i'll be like oh god don't touch me here this place is killing the fire touch me this side and he will do that okay relate relate discuss it be free make your husband your friend make your wife your friend we are in this marriage to learn because we are two different people okay make him like to be in your own shape and also him to be in my own shape this is what is marriage very simple and once you do this your marriage is gonna be sweet in as much as it is sweet and sour but it is still very much sweet thank you all so much if you watched up until this point don't forget to share this video share this video because i know that this video is gonna touch lives yes i know because it touched my life okay if you love me if you love me i want this video to go viral Take this opportunity now, share it on your Instagram, on your story. Tell a friend to tell a friend that they need to watch this video. Thank you all so much. If you watched up until this point, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all of those good stuffs. And I will see you again in another one. And I'm still your babe, Lily Poops. Bye.